Hello students, today we will study about the pearl culture. What are these pearls? Pearls are white, highly shining, globular concretions which are found within the shell of an oyster which are also called as a moti or a muktafal. The pearls were the first gems discovered by the man thousands of years ago and since that time the people of many cultures have recognized the beauty and value of pearls. There is the occurrence of the pearls is a very rare phenomenon. The occurrence of a pearl is a very rare phenomenon because of its a peculiar mode of uh, formation. The pearls are very rarely formed that is one in any ten thousands. The pearl industry was first time evoked in Japan. The pearl industry was first time evoked in Japan in the Bay of Japan located at the south coast of Honsu. The king of pearls Kokichi Mikimoto is referred to be the father of pearl industry in Japan. Pearl producing mollusk. Although a number of bivalves have the ability to produce a pearl under a suitable climatic conditions, but high quality of pearls are obtained from the pearl oysters of genus Pinctada, Roding, belonging to the class Bivalva family Teridae. There are a number of species belonging to the genus Pinctada, that is Vulgaris, Camensi, Margaritifera, Anomioids, Atro, Puropire. These all belong to the genus Pinctada. These are the pearl producing mollusks. Now, pearl producing sites in India. The pearl oyster beds of this east coast are most extensive compared to the west coasts. Is it clear? The pearl producing sites in India, that is usually the Gulf of Kutch, Gulf of Manar, the Palk Bay, okay, and the Tutikorin is the most productive region of the east coast, okay, of the east coast in the Gulf of Kutch. Hence, the major sites of the pearl fisheries in India are the Gulf of Kutch, Gulf of Manar, the Palk Bay. Now, the pearl formation. The pearl formation is an interesting phenomenon for the protection against foreign invaders. See here, that is the pearl formation is one of the phenomenon for the protection against the foreign invaders, which may be of parasites, sand grain, small broken twigs of sea weeds, or small insects. Now, these all foreign invaders or the foreign substance material when accidentally enter into the oyster when accidentally enter into the oyster and damage its mantle okay damage its mantle now the mantle will start secreting will start secreting the a layer of nacre the mother of pearl nacre around that foreign substances and forms the pearl and forms the pearl uh, thousands of layers of nacres are formed around that foreign substance and that uh, pearl is formed let's see this or understand with a small clip of video. defensive mechanism it is a point of defense defensive mechanism now in this pearl formation we'll study about the collection of the oysters rearing of oysters insertion of nucleus and different methods will follow in the insertion of the nucleus then we will go for the harvesting of the pearl composition and quality of the pearls now collection of oysters to rear them we need to collect so the oysters and these oysters are caught by a special type of cage measuring 84 into 54 into 20 centimeters by covering a very heavy wire frame with a two centimeters wire mesh is it clear now this cage is dipped into a sand cement mixture okay the cage is dipped into a sand cement mixture providing rough surface to the cages to which a free swimming spat okay the spats are nothing but the oyster seed which gets easily stuck up in this uh, sand cement mixture so that is what the capturing of the spats now Usually what are these spats? When the oysters reproduce, they spawn tiny larvae 
that freely navigate the water column until they find something, uh, an appropriate habitat to which they settle. Now, once the larvae permanently attach to the surface, they are known as a spat, which are nothing but the oyster seeds in the culture. Now, these cages are suspended at a depth of 6 meters and usually this is carried out from the month of July to November where the spats are easily available. Now these collected oysters or spats are transferred into the rearing cages. You can see here these are the spats that is the, the seeds of a oysters. Now after collection we need to go for the rearing. The collected oysters are stocked and reared in a special type of cage called as rearing cage. Okay, the spats are collected. Now these spats are transferred and stocked into the rearing cage. Now these cages are well protected from the enemies, natural enemies that may be an octopus, eel, devil fishes, etc. Now once we collected, these collected oysters are first cleaned and then place it into the culture cages for a period of 10 to 20 days to recover from the strain due to excessive handling for the physiological adjustments to the shallow water conditions. Now during this capture and all, they are handled in a very uh, tough manner. So that's why they need to take a, a proper adjustments, physiological adjustments. So they are left in the water for the 10 to 20 days so that they can adjust to the shallow waters. Now these are the cages where they are kept for the adjustments. Now next is the insertion of nucleus, insertion of nucleus, nucleus or irritant. In this method, a piece of mantle, a piece of mantle of a living oyster is cut off and inserted together with a suitable nucleus. Okay. So in this insertion of nucleus, what is done? That is a piece of mantle of one oyster is cut and then it is inserted along with the nucleus, okay? Along with the nucleus inside the another one, okay? And for this, there is a following steps of, are carried out. That is the fitness of oyster is to be checked. Preparation of graft is to be made. Then the preparation of nucleus is to be made. Then the insertion of nucleus. And once this all is done, this is called as the pro, uh, operations. And after that, the post-operation care is to be taken up. Now, fitness of oysters. Fitness of oysters means what? We have to see that the uh, oysters which are selected should be having a very healthy and strong to overcome the stress of operation. Insertion of nucleus into the oyster is one of the stress phenomenon. It is one of the stress phenomenon for the oysters. So that's why the fitness of the oyster is very, very important. That is the selected oyster should be very healthy and strong enough. Now, before operation, the oysters are kept under the stress. See here, the oysters are kept under the stress so due to this stress, the shells open there up, okay? The shells get open and once the cells open, immediately a bamboo peg, a piece of bamboo is placed in the mouth, okay? So that the shell should not get closed. So this also we'll try to understand with a small video clip. See here, now this after the uh, kept for the suffoc suffocation, due to suffocation, they will open and as soon as they have opened it, that is the, again, that is, the uh, small bamboo peg is placed so that the mouth should not be closed immediately. So that is the preparation. Now, once we have prepared it for this, then the graft tissue is to be made. Okay, graft tissue is to be made. What is graft? A piece of tissue which is inserted inside the mantle. Okay, a group, a, a piece of tissue which is inserted inside the mantle is called as graft tissue. It is to be prepared. Now, which is measuring from about 7 to 0.75 centimeters is cut from the edges. Okay, is cut from the edges by the sharp knife. We'll learn this by the small video clip. See here, that is a piece of mantle is cut from the one oyster. Then it is to be cleaned, sponged, again cleaned and then it is cut transversely, okay? We have to cut it transversely with a sharp knife. 
Once we cut with the sharp knife transversely, we have to make a small, small pieces or square pieces. Okay. Now, what we have to do once we have the ready, that is called as the graft. Now, the graft is to be placed. Okay. The graft is to be placed in the mantle. See here, that is the now the one which we had cut in the last slide. Now we are placing it in the mantle. Now once it is placed, that is called as the grafting. It will form the bed for the placing the nucleus. Okay, so this graft tissue forms the bed for the insertion of a nucleus. Now, that is preparation of the nucleus. What is the nucleus? I told any small particle which functions as a nucleus to initiate the pearl formation. Okay, any small particle okay may, may function as a nucleus which initiates the formation of pearl i told in natural phenomenon it may be a foreign substance it may be a sand particle it may be an insect anything which will start the formation of a pearl okay as a defensive mechanism here in the culture method we are collecting the something a substance which will form a nucleus or which will stimulate the formation of a nuclear uh, pearl now usually here in the culture that is the calcareous nucleus is preferred a preferable is what the calcareous nucleus because the deposition of nacre was found to be more because the deposition of nacre is found to be more on calcareous nucleus is it clear now once this is prepared the nucleus is prepared here we are preparing the calcareous nucleus it is to be inserted <clears throat> that is called as the insertion of nucleus for insertion of nucleus oysters are fixed in a desk clamp okay the oysters are fixed in a desk clamp the position of the right valve facing upward like this okay facing that upward so that it is should be open and you can place it the graft on the graft the uh, nucleus so that incision should be made and that should be placed like that now suddenly one graft tissue piece is placed into the channel we have seen we have in the preparation of the graft we have seen that we have taken the mantle piece then we have cut transversely and the small pieces then one piece is placed okay in the mantle in the mass okay so that is called as the graft now there we have to place quickly the another nucleus that we'll see here that is <clears throat> insertion now see here by this video clip it has been clamped here upward making upward now the graft has been placed earlier on that graft we are placing the nucleus now okay on that graph the nucleus is placed okay that is called as the insertion of nucleus the graft is prepared the graft after preparation that is the graft is placed into the oyster on that graft now we are keeping up the nucleus that is called as the insertion of nucleus is it clear now the nucleus is inserted that is all called as the operations okay that is also called as the operation now after during this operation during this operation it is a very uh, that the oysters undergoes a very shock okay it goes under shocks and stress shock and stress so this oysters are now collected and made to float okay and made to float in the rafts for to a depth of two to three meters for the six to seven days and is known as recovery period okay that is known as recovery period the pearl oysters grows best in warm shallow waters generally uh, not more than 14 meters deep is it clear so that's what here the nucleated oysters are now taken and then they are placed into the cages and suspended into the sea water attached with the floating rafts is it clear see here we'll understand this with the small video clip again that is now these are the nucleated oysters now the nucleated oysters are taken into the cages and they are made to float into the water okay float into the water now as during the operation they have undergone the stress so now this is called as the recovery period and that is the post operation care harvesting the pearls are harvested in the month of december to february which may slightly vary according to the climatic conditions now after the completion of three years of insertion of nucleus pearl oyster, into the pearl oysters the 
pearl is formed or the pearl is harvested that is after the completion of three years of the insertion of nucleus pearl oysters are harvested from the sea and the pearls are taken out from the shell this is what the harvesting video clip we can understand that it is clamped the oyster is clamped upward then the pearl is taken out okay then once the pearl is taken out we are introducing another nucleus in that okay we are introducing the nucleus that is the uh, harvesting of a pearls usually the harvesting of the pearls is carried out in the month of december to february that is after the three years of insertion of nucleus three years of insertion of nucleus that is harvesting now what is the composition of the pearl the pearl is composed of water organic matter calcium carbonate residues and carbonates residues and carbonates so that's what the water 2 to 4 percent organic matter 3.5 to 5.9 percent calcium carbonate 9 percent whereas residues 0 0.1 to 0.8 percent and carbonate is 90 percent okay carbonates are the 90 percent calcium carbonates now quality of pearl the pearls are obtained with the variable shapes and sizes See here, the shape and size of the pearl depends upon the shape and size of the nucleus. Okay, nucleus. So, they may be white, cream, red or pink red in color. The spherical pearls of rainbow color are rarely found. Okay, the best quality of pearl is obtained from the marine forms. Okay, the marine oysters freshwater oysters but it is said that the marine oysters have the more value compared to the uh, freshwater oysters that is pearl obtained from the freshwater bivalves are not as valuable as those obtained from the marine oysters is it clear so with that is with this we have uh, completed the pearl culture okay pearl culture in this pearl culture we know that we should uh, collect the oysters in the form of spats then we have to prepare them for the operations by making a graft then once we make a graft then we have to introduce the graft and then on the graft we have to place the nucleus and that is called that the graft will form the bed for that nucleus nucleus is an any substance which stimulates the formation of a pearl is it clear then once it is there then we have to uh, place these all nucleated uh, oysters suspended in the water so that they can feel the relief okay from the operation and once they feel relief now after the three years of uh, this uh, insertion of nucleus the pearls are harvested from the oysters the pearls are of having a different size and shapes and different market values based on the marine forms and the uh, freshwater forms usually the marine forms of pearls are the uh, most valuable uh, in market compared to the freshwater hope you have uh, understood the complete concept of pearl culture and as per this one uh, syllabus also we have covered the pearl uh, culture now if any comments are there please comment on the comment box and if any uh, clearance you need you can message me we can solve those all uh, doubts if any okay thank you thank you